I wanted to start by taking you back to your childhood and talk a little bit about your father. I think he came over to Vegas from Galveston, Texas in the 1960s during the recession and goes from being a bellman to, I think, 1976, building his own casino. How did he make that happen? You know, it, it is truly one of the great kind of uh, American business success stories. You know, my dad um, moves from Galveston, Texas, where he's already married to my mother, has to borrow money to get out here. He comes out here first so he can get a job. He's not 21 yet, so he can't work in the casino. So he starts as a bellman at the Tropicana Hotel. And then in his off time, um, starts taking classes to learn how to be a, a 21 dealer. And, begins there and you know he was really a hard worker he was very very um, a disciplined very hard worker um, and he would you know work his way up from being a dealer to a, a shift manager to a shift boss to a pit boss to all these different positions and literally probably worked at most of the casinos that were on the strip at the time he had an opportunity to invest in a a small business and he had a vision of of creating a a casino for the people who lived and worked in Las Vegas, which at the time everybody thought was nuts because at the time the only time people thought way you could be successful was if you were on the Las Vegas Strip or in downtown Las Vegas. And, and he wanted to locate the property off the Strip and uh, started as 5,000 square feet and um, higher paybacks on the slots, much more friendly atmosphere and uh, really created what is now known as the Las Vegas Locals Market, which is a, a major gaming market here in Nevada. But I think it was even when you're seven or eight, your brother uh, Frank's 14 years old, you guys felt like you were very involved in the business early on and as it's growing and your opinion was, you know, valued. And I think you guys used to talk business, uh, you know, as a family around the dinner table when you were growing up. How do you think that helped you and your brother? Well, I think it helped because for, for us, business has never been a job. It's been more of a lifestyle. You know, it's uh, because the yeah, early days. So. Well, in the early days, you know, my dad owned his own business. He was an entrepreneur as I was growing up. And um, he would always bring it home with him. You know, we'd, we'd talk about it around the dinner table. I'd ask questions. Uh, he'd ask us questions. And it was just really a family business, for lack of a better word. And it, it wasn't as a traditional family business because obviously we couldn't work in the casino until we were 21. But, you know, certainly growing up through the years, you know, I worked in food and beverage. I worked in, you know, learned the hotel business, um, you know, learned the operational side of the business, you know, whether it be human resources or marketing or what have you. And then both me and Frank, once we turned 21, uh, we worked in the gaming departments. You know, I spent summers in the race and sports book learning how uh, the sports book works and booking games and lines and spreads and all those things. And you were coming back slot to, department. on the weekends while you were in college. So we're right. I would strategically schedule my classes so I would get out of school on a Thursday afternoon. I wouldn't have class on Friday. And I wouldn't have my first class till Monday night. So I would literally get three or four days oh, to great. be able to come back home and, and work with my dad. And it was kind of a traditional every, uh, tradition every Friday night. My dad, all of his key executives, my brother and myself, we'd put on a suit and tie, we'd go to the casino, uh, we'd walk the floor you know, 10, 12 times, talk to customers, interact with people. Then we'd all have dinner as a group. You know? And that's really how, how we learned the business. What do you think you most learned from your father growing up? Wow, there's a lot of things I learned from my dad, obviously. I think, um, you know, one of the biggest things, th there's really a couple things, and, and really what it all comes down to is people at the end of the day. You have to surround yourself with, with extremely smart people. Never be afraid to, to have people around you that are maybe smarter than you mm -hmm. or and, and, and can really add something to the table. Two, um, I watched my dad. He always valued everyone's opinion so much. I mean, he would have these um, you know, interactive meetings, whether it be marketing or whatever it was, and he'd want to know what every single person thought. You know? And uh, it wasn't that he was looking to initially build a consensus, he truly wanted you know, more information. And you know, once he made a decision, obviously that's the direction that the company would go, but um, you know, he was just one of these guys that had the ability to, to bring the best out of people, and uh, he treated people just with an amazing amount of respect, and that's why I think people respected him. By 1993, I think you and your brother were pretty much running the, uh, you know, gaming business, and you guys make the decision to take the company public. Um, why decide that then, and how tough of a decision was it? 
It was a tough decision, you know. Why? I mean, we were young, we were aggressive. We, and, and I think you were 24 and he was yeah, 31. I was, yeah, I was just getting time. out of uh, uh, business school in NYU. I just received my, my MBA. And we were young, we were aggressive, we wanted to build a business. My dad was at a point in his career, in his life, where he was already established, wasn't really you know, focused on you know, doing that, and uh, he had already kind of handed us uh, you know, the day-to-day -day operations of the business. And in a lot of ways, you know, I, I've seen before where many self-made guys, you know, they have a hard time letting go, um, particularly maybe to their sons or whatever, and, and that causes some strife. My dad was a complete opposite. He encouraged us to get involved in the business and almost to a point like said, here's the keys, you know, and that created a whole different level of stress, you know, for somebody that's, you know, 25, 30 right. years so old that, to say, oh yeah. gosh, now I, I got to make these decisions and we've got thousands of employees, you know, relying on, on what direction we go. But um, yeah, we were, we, we went forward. And this was hundreds of millions of yes. dollars. I mean, this isn't yes. like a no. small company. No, it was, right. a, it was a big company, right. obviously, at the time. And, you know, me and Frank, uh, we were just, a, we, we thought there was a tremendous opportunity, but we looked at all the different opportunities and ended up, you know, building a, um, a riverboat casino in Missouri. And then, um, you know, came back here to Las Vegas, started to see that there was a, uh, and uh, more opportunities in the Las Vegas locals market to really build a brand beyond just one property and expand it from there.